Helen of Troy, by Edgar Lee Masters. On an ancient vase, representing in bas-relief, the flight of Helen. This is the vase of love, whose feet would ever rove o'er land and sea. Whose hopes forever seek bright eyes, the vermeld cheek, and ways made free. Do we not understand why thou didst leave thy land, thy spouse, thy hearth? Helen of Troy, Greek art hath made our heart thy heart, thy mirth our mirth. For Paris did appear, curled hair and rosy ear, and tapering hands. He spoke, the blood ran fast, he touched, and killed the past, and clove its bands. And this I deem, is why the restless ages sigh, Helen for thee. What here we do or dream, what here we say or seem, we would be free. We would forsake old love, and all the pain thereof, and all the care. We would find out new seas, and lands more strange than these, and flowers more fair. We would behold fresh skies, where summer never dies, and amur and spring. Lands where the halcyon hours nest, over scented bowers unfolded wing. We would be crowned with bays, and spend the long bright days, on sea or shore. Or sit by haunted woods, and watch the deep sea's moods, and hear its roar. Beneath that ancient sky, who is not fain to fly, as men have fled? Ha! Ah, we would know relief, from marts of wine and beef, and oil and bread. Helen of Troy, Greek art hath made our heart thy heart, thy love our love. For Posey, like thee, must fly and wander free, as the wild dove.